Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are doing another AP Physics 1 free response question, and the focus of this is energy. Um, I encourage you to pause the video, try to do the problem on your own, work it out, and then come back and watch this video after you've tried this problem and gone as far as you can, or finished it. Designers working on a new roller coaster and she begins by making a scale model. On this model, a car of total mass 0.5 kilograms moves with negligible friction along the track as shown in the figure above. The car is given an initial speed, V0 is 1.5 meters per second at the top of the height hill at 2 meters. Point A is located at a height of 1.9 meters at the top of the second hill, the upper part of which is a circular arc of radius 0.95 meters. Calculate the speed of the car at point A. Okay, so assuming no energy is lost between those two points, because we got negligible friction, and this thing has some energy, so we, whatever the energy is here, it's going to equal the energy it has here. Okay, so the energy here is it has some potential energy, and it has kinetic energy. So its initial energy is mgh, well this is, you know, one half mv squared. This is always the potential and kinetic energy. The potential here would be M, I'm going to just use the instead of 0.5 kilograms because the M is actually the same everywhere. The G is 9 um, G. The H is 2 meters here. So this is 2 meters plus 1 half M. V squared is uh, V naught squared, so 1.5 meters per second squared. Now at, at point A, it has to also have some MGH, some potential energy, some kinetic energy. Its potential energy is mg times 1.9 meters, because it's at a slightly lower point than up here, plus 1 half m times v squared. That's what I'm trying to figure out, the velocity at point A. We'll say v sub A. OK? So the m's actually cancel. I can divide by m on this whole equation. So you see the m doesn't actually matter. Um, and this is 2 meters, not 2 m. So it's got to be a little confusing. Um, so I have, um, if I want to solve for VA squared, I'm going to bring every, bring this over to this side. So I have G times 2.0 meters plus 1 half 1 1.5 meters per second squared minus G times 1.9 meters equals 1 half times VA squared. So I'm just going to take this number, double it, and then take the square root. So, so 2.052 meters per second. This should make sense because it's going a little faster. Well, you know, because it started off at 1.5 and it, it gained some energy, potential energy. And uh, yeah, so that made it go faster. So, I just want to double check that. Make sure I didn't mess up the calculation at all. Okay, yeah, that's right. On the figure below, draw and label the vectors represent the forces on the car at point A. Point A, it's got force of gravity pulling it down. And the ground is doing a normal force, right? Okay. Calculate the magnitude of the force on the track at the car at point A. Okay. Now, again, you might think that the net force is zero at here, but it's not because it's moving in a circular path. So it has some acceleration. Which way is its acceleration? It should be downward towards the center because its velocity is going to go horizontal to the right and start pointing down. So its acceleration is downward. So we're going to say the net force is equal to um, Fg minus the normal force. Okay. And we want to find the normal force, force of the track on the car. That's what Fn is. Okay. So this is Mg minus Fn. And that's equal to m times a. The net force equals ma. That's Newton's second law, all right? But we said the a was centripetal acceleration because it's moving in a circle here. So that's mv squared over r. OK? 
Okay, so now I can solve for the normal force. It's equal to mg minus mv squared over r. Okay, and I just plug stuff in. What is m? It is 0.5 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared minus 0.5 kilograms. Its velocity at A, we calculated before, it's 2.052 meters per second squared divided by the radius 0.95 meters. Okay? So 0.5 times 9.8 minus 0.5 times 2.052 squared divided by 0.95. I get 2.68 newtons. It's really small, I think. Uh, oh, not too bad, I guess. Its weight is 4.9 newtons, so, okay. In order to stop the car at point A, some friction must be introduced. Calculate the work that must done, be done by the friction force in order to stop the car at point A. Okay. So I think what they're saying is during this path, if there was some friction, then it wouldn't have any velocity here. See, right now it has a velocity 2.052 meters per second. If I want to get rid of that velocity, friction would have to remove that kinetic energy. So the work done by friction would have to equal the, um, en the kinetic energy it currently has. i got to remove that kinetic energy. So that would be 1 half times 0.5 kilograms times 2.052 meters per second squared. One point zero five three joules. Okay. So if friction does that amount of work, then by the time it reaches the top of point A, it would just have just enough potential energy and zero kinetic energy, because all of the energy has been removed. Explain how to modify the track design to cause the car to lose contact with the track at point A before descending down the track. Um, if I wanted to lose contact, like if it were to fly off this track, um, I would lower this ramp because then it would have a larger velocity. And if it had a large enough velocity, then the total like the total gravitational force pulling towards the center wouldn't be enough to keep it on the track. Okay, so you could lower point A. That would increase VA, to, and and then then this then FG would be less than VA MVA squared over R. Like the force of gravity wouldn't be big enough to allow it to stay on the track, so it would actually deviate from the track, which means it's flying off the track. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.